vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. Classic pedestrian ride in front of the Sam Long. <laughs> 116 watts, 40 minutes in. We found our mini golf place that we'll go to tonight, right? We're gonna take you guys along into a mini golf competition. We don't know. Rachel don't know. Don't here, know. come here to the proof. Who is best in mini golf? Mm. Comment below if you think it's Rachel or Andre. <laughs> of course it's me. Okay. I guess I'm gonna sleep on the couch today. Oh, do you need to go to the practice screen, Andre? Just to make sure that you still have it? Andre, did you already lose your ball? We haven't even started yet. Alright, ready? Oh my god! <laughs> Wait! Oh, darn. At least I didn't lose my ball already. Four blocks of five, Monte call speed, three cruise, one easy, repeat four times. And now 400 pull, finish. The case is completely open, half open. My bike one day comes flying out of the plane. <laughs> we know how much he's really done. We have a super long tradition. We, we go out. And then we run all the way to the entrance there, and then we run here. Let me just zoom in on that entrance because you can't even see it. Uh, yeah. At least the run out is right here. Yeah. Super close. Ready? Race morning. I'm 
they didn't give me arms. Gonna be a white one. <laughs> All right, it should go 5 a.m. in the morning, but it's not looking really good for the spectators. Rainy. Welcome to Memphis. Welcome to Shelby County. Welcome to Shelby Farms. There's about 12 seconds per mile, 12 to 15 seconds per mile. Andre is having probably the ride of his life, so just gotta hold on and we'll see what happens. But super exciting. I'm trying to hide out from the rain, so I'm about to be back out there in the rain with them. Sunday, we are home from Saturday race at Memphis. Got home last night. Quick turnaround. How are the how are the legs feeling? Trashed. <laughs> <laughs> They're not feeling really good. Two races in six days. <laughs> the lags are definitely feeling it. Yeah, so how is the preparation different in this double versus other times? Hey! That was a show right there. Yeah, the preparation was a little bit different this time. Or the first time I did a double, I fainted because <laughs> it didn't really take care of my hydration. And that was a rookie mistake. But yeah, this time we just drove down to Florida. We have our friend there, the head of the house, and we just stayed at his house, chilled in front of the beach. It was really nice, really lovely. And we just flew on Thursday to Memphis. So it was pretty smooth, pretty smooth travel. Just letting the body recover naturally. And So how did the race go overall? The race went well, it was a good performance. Uh, had a good swim. Great bike. I put myself in contention on the bike. I really worked hard to see what I can do with tire legs on the run. Uh, had to play a little bit of the group dynamics, but uh, I'm proud of my race. I ran hard. Didn't run fast, but ran hard. <laughs> Felt a little bit better than Augusta. But front pack swim, the bike was interesting because there was a lot of people and we couldn't break away. And the run, the guys just ran faster than me, so I gotta figure out what's not what's happening that I'm not running that 113, 112 range, or even faster to be in contention. But I guess it's because I'm probably working too hard on the bike, and I just need to be a little bit smarter. But but it was a super super gutsy performance on the bike. You were yeah. really put your face in the wind. You weren't a pack rat. Yeah, it was, for me, I was really proud to see just how hard you pushed on the bike, really did the work where some other people might not have, so that was really special to me. Yeah, I needed to prove myself that I can ride with those guys and I can push those guys, so that was like a checkbox mark. I led the race for like quite a bit, so that was a big goal of mine to lead a race on the bike and yeah. All was it forward, so we're just learning and not like just studying the body. How can I perform better? So that was a good step in the right direction. I would agree. Yeah, I would say I am. I am happy. I'm not definitely not satisfied. I know I have so much more in the tank. I'm still learning a lot about the race dynamics. Uh, it was the first time I participated in a race with had Ironman now the Facebook Watch, which definitely play a little bit of a dynamics with the motos and everything but yeah I know I have a, a much better performances in me uh, I know how to like now attack the bike if you don't get away on the bike you're just wasting energy being in the front and <laughs> but I wanted to see that I want to see how that affect my run legs after I'm biking hard so goals for the rest of the year now are they different did they change uh they're the same I still want to win a race I mean it's getting it's not easy, but uh, I feel like uh, on a good day, I probably have a chance, but the competition is gonna be great. Uh, I'm doing LA triathlon next in 20 days and at the ocean side, a double. So Olympic distance in a 70.3, double. And then, yeah, we had to Daytona with another world-class Olympic gold medalist, 70.3 world champion field. So three more races left in the season, if all goes well. If I do really well in LA and ocean side, I might call it off. But the goal is to race hard until the end of the season and then take a break and then come better next year. 
So yeah, thank you guys for following. Uh, it was a really intense uh, eight day trip, but I think I made the most out of it. We just keep rolling. Yeah. It's not easy to record all the <laughs> vlogs, but we do our best. Keep showing what we do and bring you along the journey. Yeah, we'll stay on it. Thank you guys for all the support, all the likes, all the comments, all the views. But for now, enjoy this view that is the coming of autumn in Colorado. Yeah, just trying to recover today. Easy spin and then 